everyone, welcome back to The List, I'm Donna Rucco. Taylor Swift just dropped her highly anticipated album, 1989, and our Denver Nuggets show us how to shake it off. One of the three talkers around Denver. At number one, the Denver Nuggets showing off moves at practice and off the court. This video of players dancing to Taylor Swift's Shake It Off has been watched by thousands of people who probably won't be able to get the song out of their heads for days. They can shake it off and kind of get ready for this upcoming season at the same time. And it was actually pretty easy to get these guys to dance. When I was 15 or 16 that I was going to the club for the first time, I was not even drinking or talking to my two girls. I was just dancing by myself. At number two, this new map getting lots of shares online shows some of the most bizarre world records held by each state. What's Colorado's? We'll give you a hint. Ours is for the most people dressed as gorillas. There were more than a thousand of them at last year's Denver Gorilla Run. I can't even imagine doing a regular run as a person. What about one in a gorilla suit? Uh, I can't imagine it either. That's that's hot. The Wizard's Chest in Cherry Creek sells these year-round since our Gorilla Gusto goes way beyond Halloween and 5K runs. For instance, here's the now Denver host Lionel Bienvenue just working hard as a different kind of primate. And this morning, Lakewood police brought out their gorilla suit to remind drivers that trick-or-treaters have the right-of-way at crosswalks. Now we really know what it feels like to dance in a mascot suit. And at number three, I know, it's not even the 31st, and already we're talking Halloween attractions to visit before they close. One option, the Denver Botanic Gardens corn maze at Chatfield. You will definitely get lost this year because with all of the rain, the corn, as you can tell, is well over our heads. There's a full eight-acre maze along with a mini version for kids and a haunted maze, too. Now you're caught up and clued in around Denver.